Hologic presents a video guide to the collection of COVID nasal specimens by clinicians using the direct load tube collection kit. Begin by removing the swab from the package. Do not touch the soft tip or lay the swab down. If the soft tip is touched, laid down, or dropped, discard it and get a new direct load tube collection kit. Hold the swab, placing your thumb and forefinger in the middle of the shaft covering the black score line. Do not hold the shaft below the score line. Now carefully insert the swab one half to three quarters of an inch into the patient's first nostril until resistance is met at the level of the turbinates. Next, rotate the swab with moderate pressure against as much of the wall of the anterior nares regions as possible in a large circular path at least four times, which is about 10 to 15 seconds. Then remove the swab from the nostril. Using the same swab, carefully insert the swab one half to three quarters of an inch into the second nostril until resistance is met at the level of the turbinates. As before, rotate the swab with moderate pressure against as much of the wall of the anterior nares regions as possible in a large circular path at least four times, which is about 10 to 15 seconds. Then remove the swab from the nostril. While holding the swab in hand, unscrew the tube cap. Do not spill the tube's contents. Do not pour out the contents of the tube. If the contents are spilled, discard and replace with a new direct load tube collection kit. Immediately place the swab into the transport tube so the black score line is at the top of the tube. Align the score line with the top edge of the tube and carefully break the shaft. Discard the top portion of the shaft. Do not break the shaft above the score line. Do not cut the swab. Do not fold the swab in half. And do not puncture the top of the tube. Now tightly screw the cap onto the tube. When collecting multiple specimens from the same patient, the tube label provides a specimen source field for unique identification. Provide a unique identifier for specimen traceability. A barcode label should be placed on the tube so that a quarter inch of space appears above and below it. Do not wrap the label around the tube or place it diagonally, or adhere it too closely to the top or the bottom of the tube. After collection, specimens in the direct load tube may be stored at 2 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius for up to 6 days. Flexible, versatile, and convenient COVID nasal specimen collection by clinicians with the direct load tube collection kit. To learn more, visit Hologic.com.